this week's top 10 list, it's going to be about beer and books. And it's going to be awesome. <laughs> From brewing techniques and brewing history to the joys of home brewing, some cultural fun like history combinations. I'm not going to say that correctly, but I love those. Those are my favorite stories. This is going to give you the best beer and books to read. To learn about beer. According so, to us. Yeah, according to us. So take that. <laughs> Here's our list. Number 10 is A History of the World in Six Glasses by Tom Standage. Uh, so this one explores how <laughs> six key beverages throughout the world, beer, wine, spirits, coffee, tea, and soda, i.e. Coca-Cola, shape major historical events <laughs> and societal changes, um, which is kind of a big deal. Each drink actually symbolizes a distinct era, yeah. illustrating the cultural, political, and economic uh, impact that these beverages have played throughout history. Yeah, it's a really it's cool. cool way to look at history. It's kind of like the quick summary of it. It's different colored glasses. Yeah, it's just a Not cool... Olivian Rose. Very, very creative, Ken cool Ken Posit. Beer goggles. Beer goggles. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> totally takes away, but you're like all serious, and I was like, here's a joke. Here's a joke. That's fine. All right, number nine. I know we talked about it. We're going to talk about it again. Because it's our cheating list. Yeah. <laughs> Beer Pairing Basics by Elizabeth House. <laughs> We've talked about it. It's an essential guideline for you know, basic pairing beers and foods, like, yep. especially if you're looking to kind of jump into that world and elevate either your beer or your food or your total meal. This is going to get you there. And then just keep growing and experiment. And just keep growing. It's freaking great. So I would recommend. And it's funny every now and then because sometimes Liz is funny. <laughs> Not just a face for radio. <laughs> uh, number eight is A Liquid Bread by Nicholas P. and Money. This one explores the rich history and cultural significance of beer, often referred to as a liquid bread. Liquid From bread. ancient times to the modern craft beer movement, the book really gets into the brewing process, beer's role in societies across the globe, and its evolution into a beloved global beverage. Yeah. At number seven, The Beer Bible, second edition. And the reason we put this book on here, one, because it's giant uh, and it makes us look smart, uh, but mainly because <laughs> it's a really cool book if you're big into, especially brewing. Uh, it's going to have all these really famous beers. They're going to tell you the type of malts, hops, uh, grains, stuff that went into it. It doesn't give you necessarily proportions, but it does give you some really cool facts. And if you are looking to, you know, up your brewing game or your home brewing yourself, like this is, this is a really cool way. And they kind of teach you the evolution of how different like aspects happened and when the beers came to life and it's just it's a cool book really for like brewing specific if you're not that like, into brewing probably not the best book for you but it'll also help cool. you pass your cicerone exam if you're <laughs> doing that there you go so there's that i'm gonna take that with me <laughs> i was like oh i know these questions number five <laughs> uh probably the first uh beer book i actually ever purchased uh the new world guide to beer Explains how beer is made, describes different kinds of brands made around the world, and tells how to choose uh, and elevate beer. So they're going to hit, like, your food pairing, how to brew it better. Uh, this one's by good old Michael Jackson. Uh, sorry, I'm not a cover person. Once they have a paper cover, I take it off because I just shred them. So I know. I'm a monster, but it is what it is. It's a really cool book. Lots of great information in here. Lots He's of good also history. also hilarious. And super like, funny. He has a way... He had a way of combining comedy and history and beer. I'm going to guess he liked to drink and write and what better way to write. Fair. I didn't know he passed. I think he did, right? Oh, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe cut that part out. We'll find out if it's true or not. Then we'll cut it. All right. I actually do have this book, but it's packed away over there somewhere in my tower closet. I thought we had this one. That's yeah, why I didn't I buy it. it. I saw the cover and I was like, eh, I'm going to have one. Yeah, All right. Number four is the Oxford Companion to Beer. Uh, it is here, but it's stuffed in a tote somewhere. We couldn't so, find it. Yeah, this is a big one for you uh, encyclopedia nerds out there. I mean, this is this is a Rolodex. This is your index. You can look up literally anything that comes to your mind about beer. I'm talking region. I'm talking style. I'm talking ingredients. I'm talking people. It's in there. It's a must-have. Should be on the shelf if you are an enthusiast, home brewer, or just curious about the world. There you go. And at number three, the complete joy of home brewing, fourth edition, fully revised and updated. Also a hilarious human being. A title that rolls off the tongue nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the cover though. The cover on this is pretty funny in itself. Uh, it's everything you need about you need to know about brewing beer at home. Yeah. Um, 
honestly, if, if, if you can get through this, it's going to give you recipes. It's going to give you charts on hops and hop flavors and the secrets of fermentation, beer kit tips. There's so much Temperature, cool stuff um, in here that yeah. you could probably, if you can read and learn, probably alleviate a lot of going to courses and learning stuff because it's all in this freaking book. Yeah. It's so cool. And like that, look, at it's Santa <laughs> with an elf and kind of a provocative image. Wait, I want to see. Oh, yeah. he just looks like he's relaxed. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you don't know what the elf's doing. <laughs> Checking out his knee. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go past that. That that might have been should have been might have should have been number one just based on that yeah, fair. image alone. That's all right. We're moving on. We didn't know it was like, <laughs> number two. Made it that far in the book yet? Right. Made it into chapter one. Okay. Number two, designing great beers, uh, author Ray Daniels. Um, again, uh -huh. we've got brewing formulas, we've got tables and information to take yeah. the brewing really to that next level. That's what it's all about, right? We're talking about growing. You pick you pick an eye to start, babe, and then you work your way up. Yeah. And that's the secret to life. You're welcome. Out. Yeah. Mic drop. Mic drop done. <laughs> yeah, basically, I mean, if it's if I'm not reading like a self-help brain book, it's probably a beer book. Those are kind of the two books I'm reading. Numero uno! The Brewer's Tale, A History of the World According to Beer. You know why I know that you chose this as number one? Because it plays right into your fun facts persona. Yeah. Like, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I, I love that you're the historian and the fun fact person. Yeah. And on top of it, this book has my favorite feel of any book. Yeah. It's got the soft pages, oh, the, the cover. and the gritty on the It's outside. got a little gritty. got some texture, and it's soft and, like, you can do the malleable. Oh, it's just... <laughs> I just want to sit and do this all day. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to fan it. I can feel smart. And it, it's going to like talk you down tales of beers that are no longer being brewed, why they're not being brewed, mm -hmm. bringing them back to life, uh, and just kind of how beer has been such an integral part of history and moving forward. It's, it's going to, it's a great read. I haven't gotten as far into it as I would like to, but I have definitely wrote down some fun facts out of it. So it is my current, one of my two books I'm reading right now. One of two. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. And then bonus. Oh. Because we don't talk about it, but I've it also like... gotten a lot of fun facts oh, out of this oh, book. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. This one's also really good. Beer in America. Uh, same woman. kind of thing. Just really good for fun facts. Gives you some interesting stories and, like, kind of just how beer was and culture was a long freaking time ago. And how it just kind of... Great for trivia. Yeah, it like settled and how it like helped build America. Like, I didn't know before this that the first building that got made when <laughs> when the settlers got over here was like a brewery. I didn't know And that they right. literally like land, went to land earlier because they ran out of beer. Like, it, it's just cool. It's fun stuff like that. So another good book if you want some history. But anyways, that's it. That's all I got. That's it. Bonus book. I love it. That's a good way to end the top 10 on a top 11. <laughs> so this is our list of books um, from the brewer to the historian to the fun fact to the storyteller to the lover of why beer and community and collaboration and how it has tested uh, time. Yeah. And beer food. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing.